Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Outlook for April through July of 2017. During this briefing, we will discuss recent weather, look at our drought conditions, uh, see how our fuels are doing, we'll discuss El Nino and La Nina, talk about the expected weather for April through July, and finally get to the fire potential outlook through July. Looking at weather during the month of March across the Great Basin, you can see that uh, from the image here on the left, temperatures were warmer than normal across the entire Great Basin, with some areas even 6 to 8 degrees warmer than normal. Looking at precipitation, it was quite a dry month. Uh, you know, most areas of the Great Basin below normal, with the exception of the small area across portions of Utah and Nevada. Now, I thought it would be interesting to look back, you know, from December through March, uh, and you can really see how the pattern shifted into March. So, up here in the top left corner is our December uh, precipitation as compared to average. You can see much of the Great Basin is green, which means it was wetter than normal. Uh, as we moved into January, it was even wetter across the Great Basin. February started to dry out a bit across Utah. That's that image here on the bottom left. You can see some browns creeping into southeastern Utah. But then as we move into March, things really dried out. Um, unfortunately, the matching image for March isn't yet available. But you can still see here how dry March was compared to the rest of the winter. So we were really wet from December through February and then dried out rapidly in March. Uh, with all of that winter precipitation, we are out of the drought. There's just a pocket of Nevada that's marked as abnormally dry, but no areas within the Great Basin are in drought. And looking at the drought outlook, it is not expected that we will move into drought this summer. So that is good news for the Great Basin. So what about our fuels? Um, this shows the uh, state of our thousand hour fuels and you can see you know across the southern part of the area things are starting to dry out a bit but still quite wet further north. So what about El Nino and La Nina? They've been kind of a big deal the past few years. What's happening with El Nino and La Nina? Uh, currently we're ENSO neutral. What that means is that we're not in El Nino or La Nina. We're, uh, we're neutral. So the forecasts uh, show us moving into an El Nino scenario right in the um, July, August, September period. So towards the end of the summer, it is possible that we would move into an El Nino situation. So we've looked at the drought, the weather, the live fuels and the dead fuels. What, what happens from here? Well, this is the expected weather through July. Um, you can see that much of the Great Basin is expected to be warmer than normal through June. And as far as precipitation, drier or right around normal through June. And then as we move into July, there is a potential that we'll be, we will be a little wetter and a little cooler in July. So putting all that together, uh, we'll move on to our outlook for the Great Basin. So through May, we are calling for normal fire potential across all areas of the Great Basin. And then as we move into June and July, where we typically see fire activity begin to pick up more, we are expecting some below normal uh, activity, and that is mainly in our higher elevation areas. That is because we've seen so much snow. The snowpack is quite healthy in those areas, and so we are looking at below normal um, moving into the the period where we start to see more fire activity. Looking at a wider scale nationally, uh, the areas of concern are really across the southern part of the United States. You can see um, portions of the southeast and the southwest could see some above normal fire activity. But again, with the really wet winter across the west, we are looking at some uh, pockets of below normal activity for June and July. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.